What is going on guys? It is Baku back here with another build video. This video is a little different. Um, so a good friend of mine named Winter, uh, I will leave her socials in the description of the video, uh, gave me a build that she really likes to use a lot. So I figured, hey, why not make a, make a video out of it? Um, a lot of the aspects of it, I've never really tried. So I had a, initially a rough time getting used to the build because of one specific thing. So when it comes to Prismatic Hunter, obviously you have all these different melees, all of which I am used to using. However, I am not used to Threat It Spike. So the whole catching it uh, thing, it's kind of a skill issue. I, I will openly admit that. Um, but nonetheless, we got the run done. And I did die a couple times, obviously for, for video purposes, I will edit those out because they kind of convolute the the entire run I'd rather just have a smooth video of me actually getting it done took about 10 minutes but that's again on my own vol volition I um I, I got stuck on some parts to where I didn't fully know how I knew how to progress but because I was not used to the build and this is literally like a one take of me um testing it out trying to get it done I will say it is an effective build, uh, obviously in the hands of someone like her who is used to using it, and of course any other hunter main. I am a warlock main, I just want to preface that, uh, but that is not the reason why I, I died so much. I died so much because I'm an idiot, and I made plays that were too, I want to say aggressive for the build that I feel like they went, or she went for, um, because it is all about, you know, exploding, going in viz. Um, which I will say, Graviton Lance is great for this, guys. Um, I use Graviton Lance along with my Warden's All Adept, 4 times Charm Vorpal, uh, went with Edge Transit because, I mean, it's just the Melt Champions, right? Like, it, it really doesn't do anything else but Melt the Champions. We're, we're here for the build, we're not here for the actual champion aspect of it. Um, so to start things off, so she has Silence and Squall, uh, which I found very useful, especially for, like, add dense rooms. Um... We're going with Gambler Dodge in case I don't catch it, which in this video you're going to notice I don't catch it a lot, and that's, again, that's a skill issue um, on my part. So you dodge it to get it back, thread its spike, obviously it severs enemies, makes them do less damage, really good. I really enjoy the Swarm Grenade aspect of it, but the big bad of this entire thing is Gunpowder Gamble. I mean, Gunpowder Gamble is insane. And with this build, I did notice that you do get Gunpowder Gamble a lot. Even though you'll notice I don't utilize it as much as I should. Again, this was my first time using the, the build. So, I'm just going to make as many excuses as I can as to why I played bad. You know, because bad equals, you know, not really bad. It's just excuses. Um, <coughs> sorry. Styles Executioner, obviously, you debuff an enemy. You go invis on kill. It's perfect. Uh, facet of Blessing, I noticed during the run, I really didn't utilize this as much as I should because I mainly, there's a couple times where I miss my melee, but when it does activate, it is really nice and it's a good way to get out of sticky situations. Um, you pop your melee, you get a final blow with it, you get health regeneration, right? So then, Facet of Mending, Grenade Final Blows Cure You, I felt this was really effective because of how much you actually use your grenade on this build especially with gunpowder gamble i found that really useful and uh i'm really glad she put it as a part of the build because i felt like it added that weight to it and it allowed it to like really shine because you are using your grenade constantly and um yeah so then we go into facet of purpose picking up an orb grants either amplified restoration frost armor woven mail or an overshield with this we are utilizing sounds and squall so we're getting frost armor Facet of Solitude, uh, Rapid Decision, or Precision, emits a Severing Blast. This is also good. Obviously, it just makes everything weaker. And then Facet of Ruin. Our Solar Ignitions and our Stasis Crystal, um, or Frozen Targets, shatter. It just makes an area effect that much better. Um, I found this really useful in the run, because obviously, when Caliban's activates or Gunpowder Gamble activates, you really get that explosion and it really just wipes out enemies. Moving on, uh, the cloak that she told me, luckily I did have the cloak, by the way, this is the original cloak of the original build. Uh, she utilizes Calibans with Gur Falcons, uh, which I also found really useful. I think that's a very good pairing, and I probably will venture out and make my own build 
uh, so I don't play like a complete dummy and actually be able to practice with it. Although I am saving this build, I just want to preface that I, I will be saving this build um, just so I can venture out, do things better. Now, I will also say I didn't switch anything. Everything she sent me, all of it. I, I, I kept everything, right? Um, because I wanted, this is a build video specifically for her build, so switching anything would really dilute the entire situation. Um, the only thing that we don't have different is obviously the stats because stats are subjective to the person using them because everyone has different types of armor, some have more than others, and uh, I like to utilize certain stats for certain builds. I went for 100 mobility, 100 diesel, 100 discipline. My recovery suffered, which is why I feel like I died a lot, um, so that's on me. Anywho, uh, let's get into the helmet. So strand siphon, I didn't really utilize this. I didn't have a strand weapon um, to use, but I had to use Warden's Law for the Overload Champion. Otherwise, I would have used the Call and you know been able to utilize that better. I did utilize Void Siphon. I used Graviton Lance. I uh, found this very useful. Um, so going in to the arms, firepower, excellent choice. Um, can't say enough no more good things about it. Um, you create orders of power off of great ankles, gunpowder gamble, etc. That feeds into it really well. I really I really enjoyed that. Um, bolstering detonation. Upon grenade damage, you get class ability energy. And then powered melee damage gives you class ability energy as well. The synergize is really nice, I feel, because of the fact that you have to use your dodge to get the melee back. Your melee and grenade, which you always have a grenade up, feeds into your class ability. Um... Again, I, I probably suffered from it. I really should have looked into the chest piece at least to switch it around a little bit because of the fact that, you know, there is arc damage in the master loss sector that I did. So I feel as if though I hindered myself. But again, I didn't want to touch her build. I wanted to use it straight up because um, this is her, her moment to shine. The hard work she put into it, the, the love and attention she put into it. Um, so I, I really didn't want to touch it. So on our boots, we're rocking Kinetic Weapon Surge, which I honestly felt. So I felt like my Warden's Law was doing more damage, and I completely forgot about the weapon, Kinetic Weapon Surge, but that would make sense as to why that did happen. Better already, you get health for every time that you pick up an orb of power. I found this useful as well because we're always creating those orbs of power based off of the grenade kills. <coughs> on her cloak... We go outreach, we double dip into that, and then of course time dilation to give extra time. I think it's roughly 45 seconds. And that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have a build that you want me to try um, for a video to really shine, uh, leave a comment below. Um, give me the demo link. Leave me a little note on the gameplay loop so I can understand what I'm getting into. I will literally use your build to a T, guys. The only thing that I didn't use that she had was the weapons. Uh, she recommended Graviton Lance, which is why I used it. Um, but I give this build a 7 out of 10. Obviously, there's certain things I would change about it based off of my playstyle because I'm taking a, a build, right, surrounded by someone else's playstyle, using it, and I'm not used to certain aspects of it, so... Of course, there's stuff that I would change, but it, it doesn't take away from the build. I think this is a solid build. I think that she did really well with it. Um, please go follow her on our socials. Give her some love, and I'll see you guys in the next one.